Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back. Um, it's finally come to this. It's finally time I review um, a, a, a like a, you know a, a season nine episode that's bad. Um, uh, but before I get any further, um, please subscribe for um, more um, videos and content. Remember to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. I got 120 subs. Thank you guys for the support. I really appreciate it. Um, I think that's all I have to say here. So, um, without any further ado, let's review this bad episode. Um, pe pets. You know, I, I gotta say, I, I like pets. I'm not gonna lie, I do like pets. I do, um... I actually have some pets of my own. I got a cat and a dog. Now, the cat kinda came in our in my, in my house by accident. My dog was trying to eat him, so I ended up taking the cat and we saved it and it came into the house to stay with us. So, uh, yeah. But I still think pets are pretty good. That they're um, you know, they they protect you. They can catch mice. Well, cats can catch mice. They're pretty good pets. Pets are pretty good. But sometimes they can be a little hassle. I mean, uh, sometimes they get in the trash and all of that. So, uh, so yeah. Um, I mean, I think probably the my cat will probably be the last cat I ever get. But I don't know. Maybe down the road I can get another cat, but for right now, uh, Vivian is the last cat I'll ever get. I actually named Vivian after Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. Um, I actually, I'm going to say, I, I never actually played Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door, but I have, um, I've seen game footage of it. And, and Vivian, she's got a, you know, a nice personality, so I decided to name Vivian my cat after her. Unfortunately, I, my cats have turned out he was a boy, so, uh, but I, I still call him Vivian just because I didn't want to bother changing the name. It's alright. It's alright that there's cats, you know, that, I mean, there's people and animals out there named Vivian that are, that are, you know, boys. I just, I, even if, if, even if, if, if. There was no boys and girls named, I mean, boys named Vivian, I, I, I would still call him I would still call him, you know, Vivian. Just because I don't want to bother changing the name. But but without any further ado, yeah, let's talk about um Sparky. Um not Sparky, I mean the the, the pet the pet, um the odd pet episode. Yeah, I, this episode is actually it's a it's a pile of garbage is what this episode is. It's a pile of freaking garbage. Um I told you guys I don't mind Sparky. I don't think he's awful, but I don't think he's that great of a character either. I I think he's kind of annoying. But there's episodes where he is. I do think he's good. He's got some good moments, but boy, did they did they um introduce his character horribly? They freaking introduce his character really badly. So the the, the plot the plot is in this episode is um Timmy. Timmy is um, not a very good pet owner, and it, and um, his mom and dad will not let him have a pet. So um, Timmy decides to go to a pound and get a pet. Turns out this pet can talk, and his name is Sparky. Yeah, I'm glad glad they introduced the character in this season, only to disappear by the very next season. Yeah, after this season, he's completely removed. There's no explanation or anything what happened to him. He just disappeared. I get people do not like Sparky, but they could have fixed his character and made him more likable. They could have given him a personality or something. Instead of freaking removing him from the show. I can understand if there's nothing you can do with the character, but there was plenty plenty you can do with him. I mean, I, I said how Family Guy, I despise Lois. I think Lois is the worst character on Family Guy. Well, she's got, she's got no person, well, she's got, she's got really no reason to exist on the show. She's just, she just exists to just, um, you know, boss people, I mean, to nag Peter to death. That's all she exists for. While Sparky, Sparky, they could have easily, um, 
easily, you know, d done something to, to make him have a character, but I don't know, um, I don't know, but, but basically, the, the reason why this episode freaking sucks is because, um, Timmy ends up getting Sparky, and freaking Sparky is a freaking nightmare to deal with. He ends up burying Cosmo in one just ones. He digs holes in the yard. He, he chews up furniture, which I guess dogs chew up furniture, but I think they make him way too annoying in this episode. This is a horrible This is a horrible way to introduce the character. Yeah, it, it's a yeah, it's a hor it's a horrible way to introduce the character. Also, I thought the this episode also had the, the moon gag, um, where where like T Timmy Turner's dad mentioned that it's three o'clock and there's a full moon, but but I may be thinking of a different um you know episode. That joke is kind of it, it's a, it's very stale, but I don't know. Cause come on, there there there's full moons in the daytime too and all that um. But I guess that joke is in a different episode. I did not see it there. Unless I missed it, but I don't think it was in there. Because Timmy Turner's dad, most of the time, spins hiding in a lamp. His, his head on a lampshade. So, I don't know. But yeah, basically, yeah, they, they freaking really, um... They really, um, you know, kind of trash. Well, they destroy, um, the very odd parents of this new character. Trying to introduce him, but they make it... They make him freaking annoying. I don't mind Timmy having a dog. I'm fine with that. But I don't, I don't like how they make him so annoying. In this episode. The last one I reviewed, he wasn't that bad. But here he's, he's just obnoxious. He's burying things, digging holes, like massive holes. Causing chaos everywhere he goes. Heck, there's freaking one scene where he ditches Timmy... When he's when he's flying in an airplane at the end, he just ditches Timmy, and then it all all it takes for Timmy to miss him is a is a is a stupid message on a disc, um, basically telling Timmy, well, Sparky telling Timmy that he enjoyed spending time with them, but most of the time Sparky spending time with Timmy, it was him causing chaos, so. Clearly, um, it's kind of a stupid way. It's a stupid way for Timmy to want to want Sparky back. Sparky, I mean, Timmy went from one Sparky gone to now wanting him back just because Sparky showed a bit more clips. I kind of wish they would have showed a bit more or had more of a reason for why Sparky could come back. But But I don't know. But speak, speaking of, speaking of, you know, Sparky burying, you know, stuff. Yeah, they, they buried his Cosmo one and Poops ones. But guess what? Apparently they have the ability to teleport now because they can teleport anywhere without the ones. This is where the, uh, the, the show starts getting lazy with this stuff. I talked about in my last season where, um, where, like, Foof and Loser's Attack is, like, floating in one scene, that might have been an editing mistake, but they do this like three different times, three or four different times, I don't know if it's three or four, but they do this a lot of times throughout the entire episode, and this is a two-parter episode, so they do this a lot in this episode. Yeah, they, but yeah, they, 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 they do this a lot, though, in this episode, and it's just lazy. It's just, this is where it starts getting kind of lazy. And also, they play, they play this, this sad music, too. And this is, I think, it was either season seven, or I, I, I can't remember when this music started playing, but. It's the music that plays when, um, Sparky is walking off to the distance, sad. After he falls down on a parachute and Timmy says he doesn't want him anymore. I don't like that music. I hate that music. I do. I mean, there's going to be music you're not going to like too much. But I don't, I don't, I don't like the I think it's just... It, it's not terrible. Spongebob has some terrible music. But in the newer seasons. But, but this, this is not terrible. But I don't like it either. I think they 
use it all. I don't know, it just seems kind of, uh, it seems kind of, I don't know. I think it's more that I, that I noticed how far the show has fallen, that, that it, it's fallen so far that, you know, I don't know, I don't know why I think this song sucks, I don't know. But yeah, also another rule they they, they break they break a rule in this episode too. Um, the rule is that 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 um that um you know Timmy Turner's um fairies are not supposed to be exposed to, to humans at all. Period. But um, here's the thing: they they do it all the time in this episode. I know in the past they have exposed their, their themselves to people before. Like, there's an episode in season one. God, I miss going. I'm miss going back to that um, season. I actually went back to watch the the Doctor Rip Studwell um, first appearance episode or hard copy, and that episode was pretty good. It's pretty good to go back to something like that, but. Basically, that's all the way back in season one. They had been doing this, where they would show um. Basically, there's this human guy. He disappeared, though. He dis he he disappeared from the show. But he used to be the the guy the guy who who was like the um the rich popular kids like Trixie and you know and all the other characters um you know bodyguard or something and um. He is the one explaining the char at the end of the episode, but but it, Cosmo and Wanda were there too, so. So clearly, clearly they um they they they've been doing this forever, but usually just as a as a, a gag. Here they've been doing this nonstop through the entire episode. They've been showing people like seeing them. Don't worry either. They do this in the, the live action movies too. All the freaking time they do this. They just appear out out of, out of the open or something, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why why they would do something like this. Um, I think that the, the the creator of Butch Hartman was just getting tired of the show and probably was just like just like you know what why not, why not have the the fairies just be exposed to people? I, I I don't know though. I I really don't don't know why they started doing this, but that's just my guess. Um, because I I know Butch Hartman was, I think he ended up leaving. The show after season ten, he left the show, but I don't know. But basically, though, yeah. So, um, yeah, they've been ex they were exposed. Um, they were exposed, you know, exposed to humans quite a few times. Heck, even Check a Becca or whatever his name is, the news reporter guy, the short, the short guy. You know, he was actually appeared in the, their window when they were out in the open. He appeared in their window. So, so he actually he saw he saw them in the, in the the room, but I guess because because you know humans are are all stupid in this show now; they're all dumb. No one will recognize them, I guess. You got you guys see exactly what why in the um, wishology trilogy why I wanted you know the show to why I wanted the show to um you know to um you know. It, Exposed that the fairies, what well, 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 everyone remember of that Cosmo and Wanda Poof were, were Timmy's fairies because this is why because they start doing this all the freaking time, and, um, and then by season ten they do this nonstop. But 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 yeah, I don't know. But um, yeah. Also, I want to point this out to you real quick before I give this a score. Um. This is a fun fact, though, um, but the, the voice actor who voices Sparky is transgender. Yeah, she's transgender, so it's a trans, I think they call, I think they call him trans, if it's a boy who turns into a girl, I think they call him a transgender, um, a boy, or, or, I don't know what it was called, but basically, basically this, this guy t became a woman, and, um, so, uh, yeah. Now I I know um I know uh Rebecca um from Star Star Productions um she pointed out how um I think she's transgender too she said she told me she's transgender too um 
I kind of lost lost interest in her videos though because I don't like how she constantly mocks people's opinions and stuff. I, after the Wreck It Ralph video, I got pissed off at her um, channel. I don't know, but I mean, I'm still I'm still giving her a chance. But if if she does it again, yeah, I'm probably gonna unsubscribe to her. But um. Yeah, I actually watched that one a long time ago, even before the Thrilling Odd Parents videos. I watched that, but basically, though, basically she she mentioned how Sparky was probably removed from the show because the voice actor was transgender or something. But I don't think that's why why um he was removed. I was looking on the Wikipedia. I know the Wikipedia isn't always true. Sometimes they're false, but but I I think this probably makes more sense. That he was removed because he was more he was hated by many people. He was hated. So they probably removed him in season season ten. Although it, it would have been interesting to see to see um you know what Sparky would have sounded like with, with you know Trent with with you know the, the voice actor being transgender now, but I don't know. Maybe the voice would sound the same, but a lot of people, a lot of times when people get get sex changes, they keep their they they change their voices too. They change their voices. Now I'm not transgender. I am bisexual, not transgender, so I would not know that. Where my my mind tends to go back and forth all the time. So yeah. So I I don't I don't know about transgender, but but I think that's a pretty interesting fact I wanted to point out. I don't mind transgender people. I really don't. I think. I think it's pr pretty. You know, it's it's pretty good to see. You know, I don't know. Um, people. You know, will finally get their dreams. They get to have a sex change, and they get to be who they really want to be. You know. But but I don't know though. But I don't know what to say about this episode though. But um. Yeah, I'm gonna probably just go ahead and give it a score because my DS is starting to die. Anywho, between between um between one and one hundred and twenty points, um, this is gonna be getting this is gonna be getting three points. That's right, three points. This uh, this this episode here is just a disaster. It's a freaking disaster. I hate the way they introduced Sparky. I hate I hate the way way how they freaking have gotten lazy with the jokes with Cosmo and Wanda suddenly poofing everywhere and all that. I hate that. The the only the only like joke I liked was when Cosmo was talking to them like a, a Scooby Doo um van looking thing. Um, there's a there's a segment where he, where he's talking to a this this meddling kids gang and his fan. Um, it, it's a reference to Scooby Doo is what it is. It's not actually Scooby Doo, but it's like a it, it's like a little reference to it. Um, and we got like someone sounding like Shaggy in there too. So so uh, so yeah. So um, that was a pretty good. But that's only for a second. It's just, it's just nothing but, it's just, this episode's a freaking disaster. It's terrible. I'm glad they kind of mellowed down his character a little bit down the road. He's still, he's still not great. He doesn't have really you know, a personality or anything. He's just an, another idiot. But yeah, he's another idiot in the, um, and that's about, that's the, that's the thing. He's, just, he's another idiot character. There's only so many characters that can be stupid before the jokes get get old after a while. But I don't know though. Um, probably would be nice to see Sparky return, you know, or, or to figure out what happened to him. Because I think it would be depressing if Timmy just gave Sparky back to the pound. That would have been depressing. Even if Sparky is annoying a lot of times, especially in the first episode, I mainly the first episode, um, little bits and pieces down the the, the entire season nine um, run, but mainly in the first um, episode, um, I still think you know I don't want to see Sparky get put in a pound for the rest of his life or something, but 
People had theories on that because he just disappeared from the show with no explanation, so I don't know. Even though people were pissed off about Scrappy Doo on, on Scooby Doo being being turned into a villain in the live action movie, at least, you know, they they explained what happened to him. They don't freaking do that here, even though it still sucks. They, they at least explain it. They don't do anything with, with Sparky. They, he, he disappears from the next season. And that's basically it, but I don't know. But I'm going to go ahead and let this go now. Um, remember to hit that like button and subscribe for more videos and content. And I'll see you guys later for um, later for my um, um, my um, Toy Story 2 reviews. I'll see you guys later. Bye.